All right, it's my pleasure to bring in uh, Wes Short today after a four under par round of 66. Great round today. Thank you. Wes, uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Maybe take us through your scorecard, especially the birdies you had today. Yeah, uh, uh, well, one good thing I did today, I drove it really well. And so that kind of sets up the course. And uh, it was going along pretty good. And then uh, I made a, uh, shoot, I can't remember which hole it was. You had birdies on, one, looks like six and nine on the front. Six, six, six. What is six right now? I'm having trouble. Is it a par three? Looks like no. Par five. Par, par five. five. Okay. Five. Yeah. Uh, yes, I remember I hit a good drive there and I had a six iron now. Sorry, my over 50 memory is getting bad. <laughs> uh, but I had two good shots there. I hit a six iron into that hole and right below the hole, about 20 feet, and two putted for the birdie there. And then uh, number nine I hit a nice drive and an eight iron to about six feet and made that. And then, uh, you know, I. I only missed two fairways today, and I think both of them was in the first cut, so that made it great. And then I missed uh, on number 10, made a par of time. Pars sometimes help you around. Yeah. And I uh, hit it just short of the green there, probably eight or 10 yards, and got that up and down. Then the par three, I birdied uh, after that and uh, hit a nice shot in there. And then on 17, was a second fairway I missed, but it was in the first cut and hit a sand wedge in there, probably about 10 feet and made it. And uh, kind of a stress-free when you uh, can keep it out of the uh, rough. That rough's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. A lot of players have been talking about that. Uh, only six bogey-free rounds in 2013. You're the first one uh, going off this year. Uh, last week, you tied for third uh, up in New York. Obviously, another good round today. What really seems to be clicking with the game? You mentioned you're driving. Anything else that's really stood out for you? Well, you know, to tell you the truth, I, uh, I guess at the uh, players, the last round, uh, I switched to uh, crosshand on the putting. I didn't hit it very well that last round, but I sure putted good. And then the putting seemed to carry all over to last week, and then today I putted well, too. I mean, I didn't probably make a whole lot of putts a day, but I hit a lot of good putts. Did you experiment with that in the past and just gone away from Every it? now and then I might go a hole or two putting cross-handed, but I made a decision uh, to just go with it. And uh, it's knock on wood so far, it's been pretty good. Very good. You know, one note about you, I know age, age 52, you went through both stages of qualifying. You qualified for at least to, to this point, your only U.S. Open yes, at, it was. at Oakmont in 2016. Talk a little bit about that and, and why you decided age 52 you were going to go for it. Well, you know, I've been going to a lot of uh, qualifiers for that tournament, and uh, I always wanted to play in it. And uh, so, you know, I still felt like I could compete and uh, back then especially and because uh, I didn't really haven't lost many much yards then. And, uh, you know, it was great to play. I wish we uh, had a little better weather. Uh, we had a big delay on like the 11th hole, and then uh, I didn't really play very well after that delay. We, my back was really tight and stuff, but it was a good experience, and uh, you know at least I can now at least I can play in a, a U.S. Open. Very good. Other questions for Wes here in the group. Wes, Doug, due to ESPN Radio, just your overall impressions of the course. A lot of guys seeing it for the first time. I think the course is very fair. Uh, it makes you hit very good shots. It penalizes you for just about every bad shot you hit, and so it's. But it's fair, and they did a really good job today too. Of uh, they moved up a couple of the tees on a couple of those really long par fours, and uh, that helped a lot. I think. I mean, uh, we are over 50, so. We don't need to be playing too many 500-yard par fours. Just talk about being in this position after day one. Maybe you talk stress-free. You go in tomorrow knowing just a, a, an average round is going to get you in contention for the weekend. Yes, that makes it better. I mean, you know, and plus you just, well, there's really not really stress-free out there because you're going to have to hit fairways. And so, uh, but it makes it really nice to get a good round under your belt and uh, ready for tomorrow. Um. And off of that, you're used to playing, you know, three rounds for each event, and this one's a four-round one. Is your approach any different, uh, knowing that you have to play that extra round for 72 holes? Well, I did. Uh, I only played nine holes each day on the Wednesday. I mean, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, try to save my legs for the tournament because this is a hilly golf course, also. So I did approach it a little bit differently. I was trying. I hit it really well last week, so I felt like my ball striking was pretty good. 
So I thought I would just try to save my legs for the uh, 72 holes. And, and you're a Texan. I mean, weather like this, you probably almost needed a quarter zip out there, right? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot there. I mean, I couldn't believe. I mean, it was really nice today. And, uh, you know, I thought it was going to be a little uh, hotter and humid. But, uh, shoot, it was perfect out there today. So, all right, West Short, thank you so much. Thank you. Best of luck the rest of the week. Thanks.